everyone! So I have absolutely no business filming this video right now because I'm running late as it is. Well technically if I left right now I'd probably be on time, but why be on time when you can film a video for YouTube? Logic! I'm gonna go through this stuff real quick for you all. Basically, no surprise if you read the title, this is a YouTube made me buy it. Bam! And it's on this little guy. Sephora Cream Lip Stain. I got mine in the shade number one, Always Red, because this is the one that people talk about. It's supposed to be the perfect matte red lipstick. I need to know if they are lying to me. Us. Together. We will find out. <sighs> My mouth tastes like perfume. Unpleasant. He loves these little plastic things. You can have it. So basically, anyways, back to the lip stain. Let's see what Sephora has to say. It looks like it comes in 10 colors. What it is, a lip stain that provides beautiful, long-lasting color. This high coverage lip product features avocado oil for a texture that transforms as you wear it. When applied, the initial cream texture becomes a silky, lightweight stain. Lips achieve stunning color and feel soft and comfortable. They have both matte and satin finishes. And basically, you just apply directly to the lips, start in the center of lips, and smooth outwards toward corners of mouth. Okay, I can do that. So yeah, you ready to try this out with me? I know. Oh, I am. Let's sing it together, shall we? YouTube made me buy it, and now I'm gonna try it. Whee! Okay, and do I need to address my nose? Yeah, so hormones decided it would be really funny to put the smallest looking pimple ever on the side of my nose, and then I went to pop it because that's what I do, and it ended up like my whole nose was like one huge gigantic zit, so. That's the story of my life. Hopefully we can get past that here. Should I, I'll angle myself this way so you don't have to look at it as much. So as you can see, I've got nothing on my lips right now and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it to it. Okay, looks like your typical doe foot applicator type of a thingy. Yeah, vanilla cake type smell, I think, which I say yay to. Oh. It hardly feels like I'm putting anything on, but clearly I am. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. This is why red lipstick scares me. You have to be so perfect, which I am so far from. like close up that's probably gonna drive everyone nuts but it was the best I could do okay this is a red lipstick I think it's picking up a little bit more orange on camera but in real life it is very much a true blue red Kind of mesmerizing actually it looks like my lips are made of velvet perfection i don't know no need to really do the finger trick because uh this is not going anywhere i got nothing like really nothing oh my god <laughs> that is incredible the one thing i do have to note so far is that i personally am the type of person that likes the feeling of something on their lips when they're wearing a lip product. Like this freaks me out because I literally feel like I have nothing on my lips, but clearly I do. Also, it does not feel hydrating because like I said, it feels like there's nothing on your lips. Granted, who knows? It might still keep my lips moisturized. It just doesn't feel like they're moisturized. So I want to lick my lips, but when I do, it's like, very chalky feeling, <laughs> but it doesn't taste like anything, so that's good. I don't know, you guys. I think that's about it for now. I guess I will just take y'all with me. We will see how things go from there. All right? All right. Okay, bye! <laughs>
the amount that I just sat in my car the past few hours is um, pretty stupid. <laughs> I don't know how to describe Boston traffic other than a shithole. So, uh, you probably saw in the footage, I went to Michael's to get some crafty stuff. While I sit at home and watch anime, it's nice to keep my hands busy. Um, just so you all know, a anime that I just started watching last night, it's called Haikyuu. Oh my gosh, you guys! <laughs> I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden I, like, have this huge interest in sports anime. I mean, granted, I had already seen the first season of free Iwatobi Swim Club, and now the second season of that is starting, and then I've also been watching Yoamushi Pedal, and now I'm watching Haikyuu. So basically for any of you who have no idea what that means, I'm watching a swim anime, a bicycling anime, <laughs> and a volleyball anime. <laughs> They're so good though! Seriously though, Haikyuu, first off, the opening to it is just like beautiful in every way, shape, and form. Like the art in it, the cinematography that they did with it, and then the actual song itself just blah. And then the characters in this show are just so, oh, they're just so lovable. If you've watched my 50 things about me or whatever that video is called, I did mention in there that I like rarely laugh out loud at things, like on TV, movies, that sort of thing. This show makes me laugh out loud at least once per episode. Episode. It is so good. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I I digress you guys. Basically, I'm back home. It is currently 7 11 p.m. Went to Michael's, went to the grocery store, sat in traffic. Uh, that was basically what the last few hours consisted of and it... I'm pretty sure my lipstick looks like I just applied it, don't you? I mean, granted, I haven't eaten anything yet. Uh, I've just been sipping on my water bottle, but like, does it look like anything happened? I don't think so. Look, at I don't even have to worry about my lips touching my nose because it's not going anywhere. <laughs> not that I usually have to worry about that, but dang. Yeah, so I'm just gonna hang out for the rest of the night, basically. Uh, I'm gonna make myself some dinner right now. I'll probably watch some more episodes of Haikyuu and with Galileo? I don't know. It's I'm not gonna be doing anything interesting, but I'll keep you guys posted. I'll check in with you after I eat dinner to see how it did through a meal. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. <laughs> see you then. Bye! <laughs> So I just got done eating dinner and I know it was just a salad so like it wasn't like I was eating a burger or anything but I tried to eat it as savagely as possible <laughs> so that we could figure out how this lipstick does with food in general. It did seem to hold up really well and one thing I was thinking about is that the dressing that I had on the salad, it's like an oil balsamic thing, the oil might have been a factor in breaking this down, but even still, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna blot a little bit real quick here. Yeah, and you can see that it's starting to come off, but after I had applied it and everything, it didn't transfer like that. So I really do feel like this has a lot to do with the fact that I had oil on my lips. Cause like said, I was trying to eat it savagely. So I was making sure that lettuce was like hanging out of my mouth. So for the sake of review, I know I'm not doing anything else here tonight, but I'm just going to reapply the lip cream, see how it goes on over itself and yada yada yada. So here we go. Alright, so there you go. That was with just one more dip into the tube. From what I can tell, it looks like it went on really well over itself. Oh good, I'm glad this was in my teeth the whole time. Doo -doo -doo. 
So yeah, that's about it for now. Like I said, I guess I'm just gonna keep this on for the rest of the night, see how it does, and I will check up with you all then. So stay tuned. <laughs> see you then. Bye. All right, hello everyone. I feel very uninteresting tonight. I really haven't done anything. I just watched the rest of Haikyuu because <laughs> what else am I gonna do with my life? I mean, watching 17 episodes in a span of 24 hours, that's really not a big deal, right? <laughs> Cry for me later, kids. Right now, it's not the time. We're talking about a lip product. It is currently 11.37 p.m. I really, I haven't done anything except drink water, so. <laughs> Sorry. Does this happen to anyone else who films? It's like, you never get text messages normally because you're definitely not popular and then all of a sudden you're filming and it's like blah, 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 your phone's blowing up. Anyways, you can see. I did notice that it was transferring a little bit more this time around, and you can see it did end up looking slightly cakey, I guess, from the reapplication. Let's see. It's hard to say for sure what caused that, but I'm gonna go with it's because of reapplication, so maybe you need to completely wipe it off and then reapply, or... I don't know. I, I got nothing else, so I mean, this is just a first impression. What do I know? But that being said, this is still phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. To not have to worry about whether or not you have lipstick on your teeth or not throughout the day, kind of sort of freaking fantastic. And then also, I mean, if you had like a special occasion or like a date night or something, I mean, go ahead. Like this is... <laughs> Hey, you don't have to worry about during dinner, your lipstick fading all weird, or you know, if you're smooching on someone, you probably don't have to worry about it then. Sorry, I didn't test that out. Y'all don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. For a $13 lip product, this is just incredible. As always, I hope this review was helpful. I hope I covered everything. I think I covered most things. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I hope you're all well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! bonus segment, I guess, was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> like, I kept this lipstick on while I was working out as a joke. I was like, it's not gonna stay on through all that sweat. Well, it did. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower with this lipstick on. We'll see how it does. It's not gonna last. It did. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm gonna let my hair dry and just hang out for a couple more hours. It's not gonna last. Like, are you kidding me? Like, what do I have to do to get this off? Like, yeah, it looks a little bit cakey, but I mean, can we just get over that and appreciate the fact that I still have on red freaking lipstick after a shower? <laughs> It is currently 2.51 in the morning. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm quite curious to see if it'll come off here. So there we go. I think my final verdict is that this stuff is not coming off until you decide it's coming off. My lips are not chapped at all. So I mean, it definitely does moisturize. It does not feel moisturizing, but clearly it didn't make my lips flaky or anything throughout the day, so that's nice. Basically, I'm just really happy with this product, and I'm happy to share it with all of you all. 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 I'm tired. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go to bed finally. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope you're all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!